Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. In this practice, we will be working on a full body mobility routine, starting at the head and working towards the feet. Let's get started. With your feet rooted in the floor, feet slightly wider than hips, hips square forward, shoulders square forward, palms rotated open, and blades lightly retracted, we'll start at our head neck. Let's start first with the rotation. Keeping our chin on the same plane, we'll rotate our head looking over a shoulder, and then return to center and repeat again over the shoulder. As you repeat one more time each way, try to keep those shoulders stationary, only moving your head on top. Return to center. This time we'll tuck our chin looking towards the floor. As we extend up towards the ceiling, try to keep a light chin tuck and gently look up to the sky. As you come back down the chin again, we'll pull in to look down. We'll restack the head and gently look one more time up to the ceiling. Then we'll pull that head high as if marionette strings are pulling out the top of our head. Return to center. One more. This time our nose is our pivot point and we're going to do a gentle ear towards shoulder. Use your muscles to bring your head back on top of your neck and repeat on the other side. As you do this, try to keep your neck fairly stable and in fact, move your head on top of that neck. One more time the other way. We'll return to center and then just give that a little shake out. Let's repeat the same actions at our rib cage. I like to perform those with my arms across my chest and my shoulder blades lightly retracted. With our hips staying forward, our head will come with us. We'll rotate the upper body. It doesn't have to be too far. Then use your core to bring your ribs back to center. Repeat the other direction. As you're going here, are you keeping your shoulder blades relatively stationary? And pull back to center. So we're doing this rotation with our core versus leading with those shoulders. Pull back to center. And one last time the other way. Our hips haven't moved. We're dissociating that upper body from the lower body. Next, we'll do our light side bend flexed. So again, get those marionette strings, lift up and away from your low body, and a light side bend flex over. And then staple these abs together, but rip them apart as you pull your ribs back on. Repeat the other side, up and over, tension on this side, return to tall. One last time each way here. I like to think about oscillating on top of my hips. Last one, and then pull back to center. We have one more left here, and that's that flexion extension. So keeping your feet in the same position, we'll lightly tuck our chin, we'll pull our shoulder blades together. Next, we're going to think about flexing or rounding forward, but trying to do that through a rib cage in that upper back. So we're slowly flexing forward. Once we flexed here, keep those shoulder blades together, We'll brace down on those abs and then gently extend, resisting that ab tension as you get up to tall. Repeat again, light flexion forward, rounding through that upper back, trying to keep the shoulder blades together as you do that. And then abs braced, lightly resist as you extend back up to tall. Whew, let that go, shake it out. Next to that, arms, wrists, and shoulders here. With our palms facing forward, we'll gently extend on the wrists. Then we'll close our fists up, keeping the elbows straight, flex on the wrists. Then we'll gently bend the elbows. Once we're here, we can look down and see that my fingers are kind of facing in here, and if I had a rope, it would be dangling. So I want you to tighten up that rope, pulling the pinkies away from each other. Then gently drive your elbows forward. We'll open those elbows to the side, keeping those ribs over top. Then gently extend on the elbows, extend on the wrists, and finally those fingertips reach away from us. We'll curl those fingers back up, the fists, bend the elbows, lightly keeping those shoulder blades back behind you, return the elbows to the front. We'll pull them back down to our sides, extend on the elbows, extend on the wrists, and then the hands. Let's repeat that one more time. Wrist extension, fingers curl, wrists curl, elbows gently bend. 
Once they're up in front of us, tighten up that rope. Drive the elbows forward. We'll change it just a little bit here, but pull those shoulder blades together. Extend on the elbows out front this time. Extend on the wrists and then the hands. Keep those shoulder blades together, ribs to hips. Pull those arms back past our body and then slowly reach out the back. As we extend out the back here, try to keep those elbows straight and the hands in line with your elbows. Pull your shoulder blades together. Reach the arms a little bit more behind you, trying to hug center here. Keep the blades together, return the arms to the sides, and then gently relax and shake that out. Whew, feeling good so far. Let's move down towards the hips. If you need a balance aid, you might have a chair or a bar off to the side, but I'm going to try doing this in space. We'll stand with our feet underneath us. We'll point one leg out in front. Here we'll work on our internal and external rotation. So we're standing tall on the standing leg, hips that bowl of punch, take the leg and rotate it open from the butt cheek, showing me the inseam. Then keeping the hips level, gently rotate that leg in internal rotation, hiding the inseam. Repeat that external rotation, opening the leg up. Now keeping those hips forward, let's draw a little circle to the side. Stay tall, squeeze that standing leg butt cheek. The moving leg is going to turn in into internal rotation again. Then it will gently turn open. One more time it'll turn in. Let's flex the foot and hold a light balance and then pull a straight leg back underneath. Next, let's reach the same leg to the side. Repeat it again the other direction. Turn in on the leg first, then turn open. Noticing how it's just my leg moving here, hopefully I'm fairly stable through the pelvis and the core. I'll return the leg to the front. I'll turn it in one more time, hiding that inseam, then turn it open. And for a little added bonus, could we lift that leg up? As we lift it, we're pulling it into the socket, nice straight knees on both legs, return the toe to the floor, point the kneecap forward, and then straight leg return underneath. Give that a little shake and wiggle, and we'll repeat on the other side. The leg points to the front, tall on the standing leg. Rotate the leg open, rotate the leg in, hiding that inseam. You can place your hands on your glutes here and feel that external rotator as you bring the leg to the front, inseam forward. Now, keeping that position, draw that quarter circle to the side. Staying tall on my standing leg, I'll turn in on the leg, rotate it back open, flex the foot, rotate in, pull the inseams together underneath you. Again, reach the leg long and away. Rotate the leg open. Gently roll in on that leg hip, and one last time open. Keeping the hips square forward, draw the circle to the front. Next, one more time, we'll turn in on that leg. We'll return it back open. We'll think about pulling in the femur to lift the leg. Both legs nice and straight for three, two, tap down, kneecap forward, straight leg underneath. And as usual, you want all that tension, but then you also want to be able to shake it out and stay loose in between. We have one more move here, and it's for those feet and ankles. Let's first start by pressing a knee forward or pulling a heel off the floor to get to that bent toe position. Then to switch feet, we'll go up, control the down, and land. Right now, we're just trying to bend those toes Allow them to take some load. Keep the knees and the ankles facing forward. On this next one, we'll add a little bit. We'll go from this bent position to a toe point, to a light flex around over the toes. We'll roll back through the foot, go up again, control the down, repeat on the other side. Toes point, flex round over. Roll back through the toes, up, Squeeze the cheeks, one more time each leg. Point, flex over, roll back, up, and switch. Last time here. Let's hold the balance at the top. Up on those tiptoes, cheeks squeeze, kneecaps pulled up, ribs over top of hips. Could you look around the room and hold your balance? 
then our heels will come down. Our knees will bend towards over our toes and we'll try to keep our shoulders over top of our hips. Just sit here, hang out, hike a hip, pull a hip down, and then gently to stand up, extend those hips forward. Adding on, we'll go up this time. Then could you stay as high as you can, heels away from the floor, but bend your knees and find a bent leg balance and hold for three, two, heels will return to the floor, hips will come through. We'll bend our knees, peel our heels up, press up, hold, descend nice and slow, and last little ankle squat today. If you want, let's go all the way to the floor. Knees will bend. We'll come all the way down, your safe low. Then with or without your hands, your knees will land softly. Extend your hips through. Point your toes out the back. Gently sit to stand back up. Hips extend, toes tuck. With or without your hands, rock back. Push up out of those feet, keeping the heels high off the floor. And then with nice straight knees, cheeks squeezed, slowly land. Whew. Shake that out. We worked from our head to our toe, hoping that you found some mobility and some tension within all of those movements and your body's feeling a little bit looser and ready to go. Thanks for joining me here at Bars and Bells. Take care, stay strong, and we'll train soon. Goodbye.